Welcome to the Teen Venture Center podcast, your local Richlands podcast about life locally, nationally, and everything in between. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome back, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joshua Rowe. I'm Brady Dye. I'm Mackenzie Wingo. And I'm Ryan Mead. So, guys, what do y'all think about us starting this podcast back up? I think it's good. Uh, I'm in a new position on it. I'm no longer the supervisor. I've taken over the supervisor role, yeah. and I am scared. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're doing it together, though, so yeah. Yeah. everything's going to be okay. So you recognize some of the voices here, but we do have a new person here running it, so go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ryan Mead. I just recently joined the Teen Center as the new supervisor of the podcast, and I am very excited for my new role. You shouldn't be. It's going to be amazing. You want to each of us ask a question to all the other people and everyone else has to respond so you can all come up with a question. Sounds fun. All right. First question. What's your favorite color and why? Red. Because it's just a nice color. I like the way it looks on trucks. My favorite color is purple because purple is nice. That's pretty lit. (laughs) What about you, Mackenzie? Uh, My favorite color is gray. That, that's uh, the lightest that's so I boring. ever. Your favorite color is actually gray. No, it's actually oh. uh, mint green because it. <laughs> I like mint. mint. Because it has like Western apparel to it. That's, that's not real. Really, that I understand that. It also looks like a kiwi. <laughs> My favorite color is yellow because it's the color of the sun. I'm kidding. It's because it looks good on most things. And pee. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, hey. So, what's y'all's favorite type of music? Let's hear that. I listen to mainly indie rock because um, I don't know. That's just what I've. What was grown, the yeah. first indie rock song that you actually like? What got you to? into it? Um, I started listening to Lovejoy because I used to watch Wilbur Soot a lot, and um, and he started a band and he started indie rock music. He was the first indie rock band I ever enjoyed. And uh, and after listening to them, I've started getting into a lot other indie rock bands. Yeah, what about you, Mackenzie? I like country music. What song got you into country music? Um, Kick the Dust Up, Luke Bryan. That's not a very mm. good song to get you into it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the worst. Well, my I listen to three main genres. I listen to rock, metal, and rap. Let's hear one from each song. Like, what song I like the most from each genre? Yeah, let's just hear that. Uh, I, I don't know about rap because there's like a lot. <laughs> I have like a 300 song playlist. Uh, for metal, my favorite zo- my favorite band is probably Rob Zombie, and then for rock, my favorite band is Nirvana. The best song by Nirvana is Lithium. Okay. okay and okay. Uh, my favorite genre is probably a mix between rap and country. I mean, mm. what country song really got me into it was um, whenever I used to listen to my mom all. Play Alabama songs. Alabama, baby. Like mountain, mm-hmm. mountain, mountain music, music baby. Song of the South and all that. And then what got me into rap is listening to my mom. Me and Dawson. No. Oh. I was into that before that. Just listening to Tupac, like hit him up. Tupac. Can't see me. And uh, just, oh yeah, two of America's most wanted. Eminem got me into <laughs> rap. Oh, mm-hmm. I remember when mm-hmm. uh, me and my cousin used to have this little computer and one time we looked up, um, we looked up, uh, what's it called, a uh, rap, ro- rap robot by Eminem, what's it called? Rap, rap God. God, Rap God. And we just sit there and watch the music video where he's like a bunch of TVs. I him. used to know every word to that, including the fast part. Not anymore. I used to know the fast part. And then, I used uh, to know every word. I could probably still do it. I could even sing the fast part. I feel point. like everybody's liked Rap God at one point. Yeah, everyone yeah. went through their Rap God stage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. Okay. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. Rap god. <laughs> <laughs> you have the voice of the way you spoke right there is like those voices. Are like, remember you know that YouTube channel that used to cover like stories on those video games with like the CS:GO clips. And it, Leafy is here. Yes. Yeah. That's who that, that reminds me of. Or like the number fourteen. <laughs> number fourteen. <laughs> uh, for real. Wait, is it, wait, it's, wait, whose turn is to ask a question? McKenzie's? Yeah, yeah McKenzie. Um, come on, Kenzie. Come on, we're all You're not even paying attention. I'm looking at questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is something that everybody looks stupid doing? Bowling. Bowling. <laughs> I Bowling immediately makes you look. It is uncomfortable. Yeah. 
Running downhill. I don't think you can do that good. Running no. uphill. Slamming. Riding a tricycle. I think you could. Uh, well, a tri. I was thinking of a unicycle. Yeah, a tricycle. You're like. You're I done. mean, like anybody of the age of ten, like riding a unicycle. I mean, tricycle. Tricycle. A tricycle. 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 <laughs> tricycle. Uh, <laughs> the next Tron movie is tr tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that one or bowling. Bowling, I hate bowling. I swear to God, if there's any bowlers. Um, um, probably being a sixth grader. I think everybody looks stupid being a sixth grader. <laughs> That's re Running also real. Running laps in gym. Wearing a Kansas yeah. City hat. <laughs> oh, let me. Okay, what is everybody's dream car? Ooh. Uh, I when I was young, I wanted a Jeep so bad. And then now... A Jeep. A Jeep. I don't know why. That was the car I wanted so bad. And then now my family owns a Jeep. And I've driven two Jeeps in my day. You will never find a Jeep that isn't, like, falling apart. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I always wanted? Ever since I was little, I've always wanted a red 2001 Ford F-250 Super Duty Extra Cab. Since I was six, I knew those exact words. Of the truck. Anytime, <laughs> what's your dream car, buddy? I was like, 2001 Ford F-250 Super Duty Extended Cab. Red. Okay, Ma Red. Okay, Mackenzie, what about you? What was uh, your dream car? I currently drive a Nissan Altima. Probably not a dream car. <laughs> hey, me too, twins. <laughs> hey, I, the I, Nissan I, Altima. I love the car, but my dream car has to be a Kia Telluride. I just... Love the shape of them. horrible dream car. A Kia well, what? Tell you, Rob. Tell it's a SUV. Your dream car is an SUV. Yes. Okay. Shout out to all the soccer moms who drive one of those. <laughs> For real. Okay. But my dream car is a 1978 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. A Pontiac. And it Pontiac. Pontiac. I can't say it. Pontiac. 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 I say it wrong every time, and it makes me mad. But it's a 1978 Firebird. That's, that's a good choice. A purple one. Good I, 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 Like a dark purple and black. That's what I want. Oh, dark purple? It's your purple. turn to ask a question. Dark oh, purple. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, a 1978 Firebird. And if anybody of you think different, I swear. Okay. Man, I don't know what my, different. like, current dream car is. I, I don't know. I don't... I'm not a car guy. But, I feel like most people would just say Lamborghini or Ferrari. I don't want a Lamborghini. It's or too Bugatti expensive. Or Bugatti or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're having technical difficulties. Uh, uh, Josh just fell. My pants fell down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Josh is that. currently sitting on a speaker. Yeah. And the speaker fell over. <laughs> okay, so what's the next topic? What is the most nostalgic place for you? The forest behind my grandma's house. Me and my cousin used to go back there and just goof off in the forest and like try to chop down trees with sticks. Very goofy, very nostalgic. My most nostalgic place would be my grandma's house on a Sunday morning, getting ready to go to church, wake up, and she would have a full bar breakfast. That would be the most nostalgic thing for me, probably. Or going to my grandma's house and staying all night at Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah. And opening presents when we wake up in the morning. Mine would have to be waking up on Christmas Day to a full breakfast. That's good. That's nice. I'm going to be honest. I've only lived in the house that I'm in now for like four years. So I think my most nostalgic place would be if I was able to go back to the house I lived in before. The childhood home? Childhood home. I've had like I've six lived, houses. I was like, I've lived in the same house since I was born. Really? I've lived in like eight different places. Yeah, me too. I've had all like All in this area. <laughs> and I've all got good names for each house. Like the first house I remember living at. Was the one next to me? No, it was this apartment <laughs> down near a... Um, so second was next to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. My first one was this apartment next to a funeral home. <laughs> and I remember being terrified. I call <laughs> I call that place the apartment. Then, the when apartment. I, <laughs> then when I moved next to Brady... That's the dream house. No, I call <laughs> that the rental house because we rented it. The rental, okay. And then I moved into this trailer, and I call it the trailer. <laughs> and then I moved into this house before my newest house, and I called it the wow. 319 Virginia Avenue house. Oh, my God. And then the house I live in now, yourself. I call home. <laughs> I, that that I was, was very majestic. I was so ready to have all these like cool names for all the places. And you start out, the first house, apartment. <laughs> Take out. Take out. The trailer. The rental. 
And Shout out the, to whoever listened to that. And in this know. corner, we have the rental. <laughs> and on the other corner, we have the trailer. Well, the you, home. Your dog's in your, <laughs> the home. <laughs> the claw. What's the craziest thing you have ever done in the grocery store? I actually, I actually do have a story for this. I one. do. Okay. So, I um, my craziest thing I've done in the grocery store was something I did on accident when I was a lot younger than I am now. I want to preface it by saying that I was riding on the front of the buggy while my mom was pushing the buggy, and she couldn't see where she was going because of course she couldn't, and she pushed me into like a a uh, counter that had like a bunch of like soft drinks on it and like a two liters of coke spilled out and just shot like exploded over like the whole floor and i remember my mom was like freaking out because my mom's just as anxious as i am and my mom was freaking out trying to like help the employees and she went over to like the employee that was trying to clean it up and she went i'm sorry i'm so sorry is there anything i can do and the employee just went You've already done enough. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we just left. Well, and, here's mine. Yeah. Oh, well, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right. I was with my cousin in the Target in Bristol, and we were playing hide and seek in the Target. <laughs> we were just running around, goofing off, because my mom has been in there for like two hours the whole time. <laughs> and we crawl up into these rafters, right? You know, like the things they put stuff on. It was specifically. The um, baby stroller rafter. Oh, no. <laughs> and we climbed up to the very top, and we were goofing off up there until my mom saw us. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and then we ran away, and we had the rest of the time in the Target running from my mom. The rest yeah. of the time? That was okay. the last time they were ever seen in Target. <laughs> okay, hey, we went to Walmart, and I put, like, three gallons of milk in one of those totes and closed the lid. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Like you poured it out? No, no, like I just put gallons of milk in a tote. <laughs> Why? I don't know. That's not that Wild. Crazy. One day they make up some old woman going to pick it up to put her like childhood clothes in or something, and she picks it up too heavy, drops it, and the spoiled milk just goes everywhere. Dang, oh my god. Wait, I didn't even think about nobody knowing it's in there yeah, and then it just falls. Yeah. Like, oh I'm god no yeah that is awful <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's just mean it was funny that's just <laughs> mean. I was like damn all right guys so that's the end of this episode if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe tune in next week for the next episode and you have a wonderful day goodbye